Hi mga ka-innovate! Alam nyo ba na pwede tayong gumawa ng sarili nating 3D printer or yung tinatawag na DIY 3D printer na ang gamit lang ay halos mga recycled materials o yung tinatawag na e-waste or electronic waste materials ng mga tinapo na sa junk shop? So sa video na ito, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano ko ginawa yung unang 3D printer ko na gamit lang ay halos mga recycled electronic waste materials. Pakumanhin lang po kung medyo may kalabuan yung ilan sa mga video dito. Actually, medyo matagal na itong mga documentations ko. I think 2018 pa po ito. So project po namin ito during our final year as engineering sa Fulbright College. So this is not actually a tutorial video sa paggawa ng 3D printer. But at least ay mabigyan ko po kayo ng idea kung ano-ano yung mga bahagi ng isang 3D printer. Kung paano ba ito gumagana. At possible pala na gumawa ng 3D printer from electronic scrap materials. At syempre ay sana medyo ma-inspire ko kayo sa 3D printing technology. So para po sa mga hindi pa familiar, ang 3D printing po or additive manufacturing ay isang process or manufacturing technique sa pagbuo ng isang physical or three-dimensional object sa pamamagitan ng pagdadagdag-dagdag or pagpatong-patong ng material. So usually in a layer by layer manner. Marami po tayong klase ng 3D printing technology. Siguro po ay gagawan ko na lang ng hiwalay na video na patungkol sa additive manufacturing. So for now, dito po muna tayo sa e-waste 3D printer na ginawa ko. Which is FDM or Fused Deposition Modeling 3D Printer. So, under po ito ng Material Extrusion Types of Additive Manufacturing Process. Bale, paano ba ito gumagana? So, ang 3D printer po kasi, mas move in a 3-dimensional space para makapag-create ng 3D objects. Ang FDM 3D Printer, which is the material is deposited while the print head or hot end is drawing the 2D cross-sectional of each layer of the object. The print head then moves upwards to deposit the next layer of extruded material on top of the previous one. This process is repeated until, layer by layer, the desired 3D object is obtained. So bali, nagsimula po ako sa pagre-research sa internet at paghahanap ng mga available na materiales locally like mga stepper motors na nakuha ko sa junk shop galing sa mga sirang xerox machine at mga gamit ng aluminum tube for the frame ng machine at drawer slider para sa magiging linear motion guide system ng bawat axis ng 3D printer So yung 3D printer po ay binubuo ng tatlong axis which are X, Y, and Z and meron po itong extruder So yung X and Y axis po yung responsible sa pagdrawing ng 2D cross-sectional ng bawat layer ng object. At yung Z axis naman ang responsible for moving layers. And then yung extruder yung responsible sa pagtutulak ng material to the hot end ng 3D printer to deposit the materials. So I started the design based doon sa mga nakalap kong piyesa. Core XY Kinematics yung design ng 3D printer ko which is controlled ng dalawang motors yung both X and Y axis and then separated naman yung Z. So after the design, sinimulan ko na pong buuhin yung frame ng machine using aluminum tubes, angle brackets, bolts, nuts, at drawer slider naman para sa mga linear rails ng X, Y, and Z axis ng machine. 
Then, for the electronics and firmware ng machine, before I install the motors on the 3D printer frame, sinubukan ko munang buuhin yung circuit at i-flash yung firmware ng machine para i-test yung mga electronic parts and motors. So, for reference, ito po yung schematic diagram ng 3D printer. I use RAMs 1.4 and Arduino Mega for the mainboard ng machine. A4988 naman para sa mga stepper motors driver and 20 by 4 LCD with rotary encoder and SD card module para sa magiging machine controller. And I use the old 12 volts power supply ng aming computer for powering the machine. And Marlin firmware naman po ang ginamit ko sa aking machine. So first, I assemble the circuit and configure the Marlin firmware based sa magiging specification ng machine na gagawin ko. And then, I uploaded it to the Arduino Mega and I test the circuit. After I tested the circuit and motors, and nakita ko namang working at walang naging kahit anong problema, I started to install all the motors sa bawat axis ng machine. Then, sinimulan ko nang i-assemble yung linear motion system like timing belts, pulleys, and limit switches or end stop ng bawat axis. and also yung lead screw ng Z-axis at iba pang mga parts ng machine. So I use GT2 timing belt and 20 tooth pulleys para sa X and Y axis at 8mm diameter, 300mm length lead screws para naman sa Z. So ang target ko po kasing build volume ng machine ay at least 200 cubic millimeter. Kaya gumamit ako ng 300 millimeter lead screw para kahit papano ay may extra allowance para sa ibang pyesa like motors and hot end ng machine. And then, for the 3D printer extruder po o yung maniktulak ng plastic materials or filament papunta sa hot end, so nag-improvise po ako with the help of my papa sa pag-design and cut ng makapal-kapal na acrylic glass. I used E3D B6 hot and clone with 0.4mm brass nozzle na nabili ko online. So para sa magiging pinakatool head ng machine. So after ng maraming testing, calibration, wiring management, adjustment of belt tension, so finally po ay nagprint na po yung machine. So ito po yung first actual print ng aking machine. So that time, hindi pa masyadong calibrated at leveled yung platform or yung heated bed ng machine. But kahit pa paano ay gumagana na yung printer. Then, after many weeks of calibration, I started to replace and upgrade some parts of the machine. Like yung extruder, bumili ako ng aluminum extruder from online.
I also 3D printed the LCD controller mount and case. I also replaced the PCB heated bed with a 3mm aluminum heated bed para mas flat yung surface at mas makapagbigay ng stable or consistent na init para dumikit yung first layer ng object na piniprint. I also modified some language ng controller. So ginawa kong Tagalog yung ilan sa mga command sa user interface ng machine. And gumawa din ako ng filament storage ko para maiwasang ma-expose sa air moisture yung filament. And yun po, I maximized the use of this machine. I made a lot of things with my first 3D printer that was made from scrap materials. Like keychains, Souvenirs Mga project parts And mga circuit casing This machine also helps me to build another machine like yung CNC platter ko which is also project ko with the same year in my college. And also this 3D printer helps me to build another 3D printer. So malaki po yung naging contribution ng machine na ito para makabuo ako ng bagong 3D printer. So yun po yung second DIY 3D printer ko. But hindi na galing sa mga electronic waste materials. So siguro po ay gagawan ko din yun ng another video. So yun lang po, I hope nag-enjoy kayo kahit na medyo malabo yung video, nagka-idea kayo, na-inspired at maraming natutunan. Ako po sa sarili ko ay napakarami ko pong natutunan during the time na ginagawa ko itong machine na ito. In fields of electronics, mechanical, electrical, and programming po. At nakakatawang panoorin po pag nakita mo nang gumagana or nagpiprint na yung machine. So, hanggang dito lang po muna. Maraming salamat po sa panonood ninyo.